Hey everyone, welcome to another episode, and this one's actually kind of a special and sort of short episode. I was asked a few times over the past couple of weeks, not only from people on YouTube, but on our Discord channel, what I thought about building straight off the plate. I responded to a few of them by saying I had a video that I already did on this concept, but I kind of wanted to revisit it because I think there were some misunderstandings about what should be and shouldn't be built right off the plate, and what some issues or difficulties you might face when doing this. So. Let's cut right into it. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about, and uh, maybe we'll learn something. All right, I figured a pretty good uh, starter object here to show y'all would be a base. Now, sometimes putting a base flat off the build plate is a smart idea because you don't have to hollow it, especially if it's a big chunky one like this. But my biggest problem with it is, is these pegs, these keyholes are going to become suction cups for like hundreds and hundreds of layers. And as much as this is going to definitely, and it'll be fine, it's not going to fall off the build plate because this is going to create a lot of strength back here. It might ruin your FEP, <clears throat> or at the very, very, very least, it's going to stretch it out where these two keyholes are because of how much force is going to be put on them. Now, I'm not saying don't do it. I've done it. I've heard the popping noises too. They can, they can get pretty loud. <laughs> So anyway, the first thing you would want to do if you're going to build something like this off the plate is you're going to need to go to your rotate tool and choose the on plate tool or orient to plate. Click the object, the green spot here, where you want the, the object to orient. Like, for example, if I wanted to orient the front, I would click the front. If I wanted to be the back, I would click the back. And then bloop, it goes right to the back. And this green tells me that it's touching the bottom. And if we were to go into our prepare tab and check our slice, we would see that there's a few hundred layers that are going to pull with some severe suctioning. Right there. And look, those are deep too, so... That's a nice little deep. But the problem is, even if you put a hole here, it wouldn't relieve the suction because the um, object isn't hollow and putting a hole there wouldn't even connect. So no, you'd have to put a really big hole and then it would still connect to the build plate and you'd still get suction. But then you'd get suction the entire print instead of just part of it. So if you're going to do it, you'd have to do it like this anyway. Um, if we were to do an island search like this, and obviously don't do not do a raft, otherwise you're going to really have a lot of junk to sand off. Uh, just don't do it. I mean, you see what I'm like that. You're going to have to shave all that. Now, if you want to, you can, uh, but I don't recommend it. Maybe we'll just back down. Now, we go to our island search so I can show you guys. You, have, you do not need any supports on this whatsoever. This will be a support-free object. There's no overhangs. There's nothing to worry about. It's just going to print itself one little fat layer at a time. Um, as soon as this is done, there we go. Oh, wow, it did detect some islands. Oh, look at me. Where? Huh. Well, I'm going to actually say that might not be an actual island, but I'm not really understanding why it's throwing those as islands. That's actually kind of funny. There's one there as well. Where else? Maybe here? Nope, not in the triangle. Okay, so it's encountering islands in the most random of places. So that might actually be an island right there. But that's as easy as putting a couple of little twigs, and you're good. A couple mini supports here, and you're fine. Want to stick a third one? Go ahead. You can just clean those off with a toothbrush later. Uh, as far as the other ones, those were weird. I haven't encountered islands like that on objects like this. But hey, you know what? That's why sometimes I bring out stuff that I haven't messed with, so you guys can kind of experience it with me. Uh, but in this case, yeah, all right. So because of, I, I'm guessing just because of some of the pixel detail going on here. And see, that's one of those islands you can't really 
support. I mean, you can't put a support on that. So what I would do in these cases with these kind of islands is I would probably just stick a little couple minis under these. Oh, oh, that's weird. Oh, okay, okay. So this is one of those weird mesh issues, essentially. Like, it wants me to put a support inside the, the three-dimensional object, which is, I mean, there you go. It's kind of a glitch. I, I don't know. I've seen this happen before. <laughs> I knew those were weird. Okay. And then there seems to be two more, perhaps. All right. So there you go. Um, so even build off the plate, I guess, do need this one needed some supports. Let's move on to something that won't mess with my head. Now, I told you that I was going to kind of explain the difference between things that you should and shouldn't build off the plate. Now, sometimes lychee will detect islands on objects like you just saw where they don't really belong. So just trust me when I say that if you're going to squash something down to the plate, it's, it's going to print just fine off the plate. Just the only thing that I concern with is things like this where you have suction. But again, I've done it before, so it's not impossible. So again, we put the bottom to the plate for the donut. And then we just analyze it, okay? So we can tell right away if there's going to be any issues with this building off the plate. And the only thing that concerns me is the frosting. Yeah, and I was right. So the frosting will start little tiny islands off of the edge of the donut. So this would actually not work as a build off the plate kind of object. Although in theory, it looks like it might, you would have to support all of those islands around the edge of the donut, which would then create at least some sort of a base that's gonna sit here, which might fuse with whatever elephant foot gets created. So this one's not worth doing off the plate. Things like this, for example, this is a tapered base. Now this one you can't do off the plate either, <laughs> but I'll show you why. Because this creates an entire plane in one layer. And you would have to just layer on supports underneath that in order for that to work. It just wouldn't happen. Now, if you look at some of these, like these are base toppers, these would be fine. You would simply just lay them flat and you'd put them down and you'd print them like that. And they would print right off the build plate just like that. Um, we also have a couple examples of stuff like this. These are like kind of like charms. And you could do stuff like this, even though they do have some suction pockets in here. Um, I've actually done objects like this off the build plate before. Another way you can put stuff down on the build plate if it's already laying flat is you can go over to your move and then you can say on plate. And then it'll push everything down to the plate. You'll see by the green outlines that everything here is now down to the plate. Now, again, this may have a little bit more suction this way because of the way that these are designed, but overall, you're going to have a pretty clean print. It's not going to really cause too many problems. Now, another object that I showed in my previous episode was some of the tarot cards, and a lot of people commented how much they liked them, and some people even said they were going to go look for them. Um, I will go and look for the link again so I can try to share that again with y'all. Um, but if you're going to do something like these, what you would need to do essentially is just make it fit onto whatever build plate you've got and then just make sure it is completely flush on the bottom um, and you can do a little zoom up here you know just to make sure and you'll be all set other than that there's not really much else to printing off the build plate um, I think one of the other thoughts 
that I had was some people were asking, well, do you have to change or adjust any settings? Um, I suppose the one thing you could do is lower your bottom burn-in exposure. Mine on this particular machine I have set to 30. Um, but I could probably, if, if it's something like this, I could probably lower it to 15. Um, but again, that's only if you're hyper concerned with the elephant's foot happening. Um, and I don't really care about that too much cause I can just fix it later in post. I'm all good with that. I can, I can finish that later when I'm doing my post process, doing my finishing all good. Um, so yeah, that, that's something, something you can adjust if you want to. Well, that is it for this extra episode this week. I hope y'all enjoyed the content. I hope y'all enjoyed the additional education because I'm trying to come up with more things as well. If you guys have questions, you think you can stump me, you got a challenge for me that you don't think I can succeed at, throw it my way. I'm, I'm kind of game to, uh, to see what it is that I can do uh, or can't do. Um, I always like a good challenge as well. So I'm open to uh, see what you guys can come up with. Um, as of now, uh, we've got some more content planned. I am planning on getting back into the fully supported videos where we go into really heavy detail on how to do particular styles of supporting. Um, and I also go into more detail about the slicer and stuff like that, and how to do more manual supports and really kind of get into more of the hands-on with that. Uh, so those videos are coming back. We took a stall on that for a little bit, but hey, you know what? We uh, tried to put a little variety in there. We wanted to spice it up a bit. So, I mean, you know, we're educational anyway, so it's not like we can be really that exciting. Uh, <laughs> at the end of the day, it is education. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this video again. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks so much for being a subscriber, and we'll see you all again soon.